Thank you, thank you. Like that great actress Elizabeth Taylor supposedly said to her six husband, I won't keep you long. <laughs> That's an old one. Y'all, South Carolina is going right straight to the top, and everything that you've heard this morning is, are some points that I was going to bring up to you. But we are, we, we just, we're on the top of the world. I'm having people come to want to be involved in government more and more, business, government. They want to get in and see how it all works. I had, this is true, I had a fellow come up the other day and said he wanted to be in the cabinet. I said, where do you think you'd best fit in the cabinet? He said, well, do you have a liquor cabinet? <laughs> well, that's not what we're talking about today. What's been said is true. Arthrex is a, it's a great company, and this is a $60 million, $69 million investment with 9,000, with 1,000 employees. Already this year, since I've been in this office, we've had 13,000 new employees, 3.9, $3.8 billion worth of investment on a whole bunch of projects, and they just keep on coming from all over the world. So why is that? Now, I have not spoken to Mr. Smeedling about this, but I think I can tell you why, because it's, I think these people that come from somewhere else notice things that we don't notice, because we live here. But everybody's coming to the, to the sunshine states, and everybody's taking a good look at South Carolina. But this, this today, I think, represents something that is new, that is outside of mo most of the scales that people uh, understand and look at when they see businesses moving around. And it's been mentioned, but let me highlight it. You've got a combination going on right here that is very rare and is very new. It's something new and it's something that's going to take this state right to the top and right to the future. It all involves brain power and collaboration. Now think about it for just a minute. We have a great research university in Clemson that cooperates and collaborates with other great research universities. And we have two more in the state, USC and MUSC. And they all are involved in human engineering and all that sort of thing. And that's precisely what Arthrex does. Does anybody remember, I think I'm sure about this, the, the first hip transplant was invented by Dr. A.T. Moore in Columbia. This city of Anderson, I think, was the first electric city as all the, the lights were powered by, uh, by electricity. There have been some big things happen around our state over the years, but this is something that is different because you have a combination here of that mighty power of research, those young minds, those trained older professors, the skilled minds, this off-the-scale innovative things that Brian White spoke about, and these plants, even in the big plants, they don't carry toolboxes anymore, they carry laptop computers. And no place is that demonstrated better than in our technical colleges. There's no one finer than the one here. So here you have a major research university. You have an Anderson University. You have a major technical college system of which one of the superstars is right here. Wilbur Ross, Secretary of Commerce, said the other day that South Carolina is leading the effort and is a model for workforce development in the United States today. I heard him say it twice in one day about a month ago. But you put that combination together, you put that collaboration together, and you can't beat it because no other state has that. No other state has a technical college system like we do. No other state has three major research universities that are already going in this area as well. And then you have the, the four-year schools all around the state. So we are, we are really set to go. It is Brain Power USA. We are going to take the young people and train them as, as they go up, as these big institutions collaborate and learn and discover things and invent things. It will cascade down for opportunities for entrepreneurs and jobs, and it'll just get better and better, and the whole time done in a place we call paradise, South Carolina, with mountains over there and beaches over there and water in between. You can't find it like this. So ladies and gentlemen, this is, a, this is a great, great moment. I have not seen one quite like this, quite so compact yet. So this is a good sign for our state. It's a good sign for our great people. And I believe that the best is yet to come. And I'm honored to be here with you to celebrate it. Thank you. I have a gift. 
This is a, we always give a gift to our honored guests and new friends, and we're very proud of you, and, and we, we are proud of your company. It's a great company. And this is a, it's, it's not open yet, but this is a plate. It's brass, and it has on there the seal of the great state of South Carolina. And one of our, part of our motto is Dumb Spiro Spiro, which of course is Latin for while I breathe, I hope. And we've been breathing and hoping for this kind of thing for a very long time. And we're glad to be here with you to see it come to fruition. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir.